Hello everyone, welcome to Nari Bukharazi and this is Meenu. So today I am going to review this book called The Gypsy Goddess by Meena Kantasami. So this book has been lying on my bookshelf for a very long time and I did not get the opportunity to read this book for a very long time. That was because uh, I know what this book was about and I did not have the audacity or the strength to read this book. A few days back I got very you know upset with fiction particularly romance and I wanted to read something very different and I decided I would pick up Indian literature and this book was there available readily on my bookshelf and that's why I picked it up. So I am sure that most of you do not know what this book is all about. So I will tell you what it is about. So this book is about a real life incident that happened in 1968 in the state of Tamil Nadu in India. So this incident particularly happened in a place called Kheer Venmani which is located in the district of Tanjur or Tanjavur. So this incident is about a problem which persisted between the upper caste landlords and the so-called lower caste agricultural laborers. So these agricultural laborers in association with the communist parties they fought against these landlords asking for a raise in their wage because uh, they felt like it was not sufficient for the work they do and they did not ask for money and all they asked for extra measure of rice because that was not sufficient for them to feed for the family but uh, these uh, landlords they were not very happy about these so-called lower caste people coming in front of them and you know asking them question and protesting against them and they did not like communist party very much because during that time communist party wasn't very prevalent and these party people have been seen as naxalites and terrorists and revolutionaries who are not very you know suitable for our society and they are a very you know anti-social elements who are you know affecting the peace of the society but this party was the only one who supported these lower caste agricultural labor and stand beside them and fought for their rights so we all know what communism is all about you know fighting for the working class and you know getting equal wages and all those kind of things and they fought for all these kind of things but the thing is uh, the landlords were not very happy about it and there was a constant problem between these two parties and one thing led to another and finally these upper caste landlords they decided they could take uh, you know powers on their hand and they decided to burn the huts of these lower caste agricultural labors which killed 44 innocent lives so this happened on the christmas day of uh, 1968 which is one of the darkest saddest and heartbreaking and brutalest incident to have occurred in the state of tamil nadu so tamil nadu is always uh, considered to be one of the very uh, progressive states in the country and uh, there are a lot of you know good things to talk about Tamil Nadu but this incident is one of the darkest thing to have happened in the state of Tamil Nadu so most of them don't even know what happened in this time uh, even you know my friends we are all from Tamil Nadu my friends from that particular state most of them did not know this kind of an incident occurred in that place and I feel like this incident should not be buried under the pages of history because everyone deserves to know this so that it will help us shape into a better person than our ancestors were. The atrocities which has been inflicted on the people of Kielbenmini was very atrocious and very brutal. I have never seen anything as such in my life. Uh, uh, for example, the people of Kielbenmini or anybody are not supposed to wear red color dress because it is a color of communism and if they are wearing red color dress it means that they are supporting communism and they will rip them apart from the dress, they will beat them, they will uh, burn the dress they do all these kind of atrocious thing and it was really very disturbing so sadly it is the kind of society in which we live and so comparatively Tamil Nadu is different and better than any other states in this country so the verdict was in favor of the landlords the court precisely said that people who are owning cars and having acres of lands who are rich will not actually you know go and burn the huts of poor agricultural laborers because the court feels like you know people who are rich will not do all these kind of cheaply jobs against their poor agricultural laborers 
so they actually cleared all these landlords of their charges and you know they gave them a clean shit so i kind of feel like it was very unfair for the agricultural laborers the people who lost their lives and their families so i hope it's not a contempt of court but uh, you know i just feel bad for those people so as i told you i was not mentally ready to pick up this book because it was so very hard to start but the thing is the author also knows that this is a very you know deep and strong subject for many of the readers to handle so what the author did was she decided to prepare the readers for this very heart breaking and heart wrenching kind of a uh, plot so the first 50 pages of this book covered with the preparation of the readers so she mentally prepared us to you know get ready for the incident that is to happen during the climax of this book and that is something i really loved about this book because the first 50 pages consist of all the details that you need to know about this incident and about this book because it has all the cultural and uh, geographical and historical backgrounds of that particular place the people the political parties and everything that you need to know about that particular incident has been infiltrated into the pages of this book and uh, it was very way more better than reading any historical book or any newspaper from that period of time and the author has you know done a very great deal of research and has come up with this book because you know even to you know write a single page from this book i think the author would have read so many books and referred so many sources to write this book and that's why i felt this book was very authentic and uh, the writing style of the author was seriously very nice uh, she had a bit of sarcasm you know mixed in her writing style and she was you know poking and pricking every single person who has done wrong in the past you know she'll also you know make us feel bad for not reading these kind of books more and that is something i really loved about her the pages had so much sarcasm and i cannot stop you know you know rereading them and uh, you know absorbing them at a greater detail and uh, the thing is the writing style was so very unique and very different the narrative style was very different the author was narrating throughout the book and it is called a meta fiction so i did not know that this kind of a genre existed until this book so the author was you know uh, particularly uh guiding us throughout the plot line she was you know introducing us to different characters introducing us to you know different situations and all kind of things and i really liked that way of writing and the narrative style was so very different the voice was so strong and it was different as in you know if you take a book it has a straight way of storytelling and straight way of you know narration we either write in first person or second person or third person that is how we have you know read books but this book was you know i don't know how it has been written it uh, it has some uh, random kind of storytelling it was you know unparalleled way of storytelling i would say suddenly she'll be talking about one thing then she'll be talking about another and she'll be talking about something else and it did not feel very you know odd or difficult or you know unconventional and all it felt very uh, different to read and i particularly enjoyed this kind of storytelling because you know this clumsy way of storytelling needs it's a lot of you know knowledge and lot of strength and intelligence i think meena kandasamy's you know vast knowledge in literature has only helped her to come up with this kind of narration and storytelling but she keeps on telling that she does not know a lot of english or anything but that is completely untrue because the language of this book was you know so superior the language was advanced and i have to go and check uh, my dictionary every now and then and some paragraphs were like i have to reread every single time but that was not a hindrance i would say because this is how this book has to be uh, written and i loved everything about it and uh, it was a, such a wonderful read and i kept on you know underlining a lot of things that has been written in this book if you ask me so if you see the pages of this book you know i'll show you like you would be able to see a lot of underlines i think i I actually underlined a lot of things in this book because it felt really important to you know underline all these things and I loved the way you know the author's voice was very strong and it actually accused each and everyone who has done wrong by this people 
and also i would like to recommend this book to all the people who wants to know about caste or who do not know anything about caste and to people who want to annihilate caste and to people who feel like there is no caste prejudice in our country so i think you have to read this book to know what kind of a society you live in and it will help you see things more clearly and uh, why i am telling this particularly is because i am from the state of tamil nadu and when i posted about this book on my instagram handle most of my friends did not know what this book was all about even though they are from tamil nadu or particularly from the district of tanjore as well so i think everyone deserves to know this story my rating for this book would be 5 out of 5 stars and i don't think i can rate this book because it is about the difficulties and the brutalities faced by a community so i cannot rate this book but still since i'm doing this review so i have to give a rating so i will give 5 out of 5 stars and i haven't read anything about or anything that has been written by amina kandasami before this particular book uh, so i really really loved her way of writing her you know strong and uh, bold voice so i think i would here after say that Meena Kandasamy is one of my top most favorite authors. I love her so much and I am so very interested to read more of her books. So thank you so much for watching this video. So please do read this book and let me know how you feel about it because we need to read these kind of books in Indian literatures and about you know caste and caste uh, atrocities are something that has to be you know read by people like us. So thank you so much for watching this video so please do read this book and let me know how you feel about it and before going please do like share comment and subscribe to nerdy bookarazi and until then bye bye take care